It's a Godwinson Live News Alert, folks. It's about items, but seen through the lens of someone truly abhorrent. Very rarely do we get to see this sort of thing play out. Roundly, by all and sundry, I dubs his apology to those that wish he was still the old I dubs has been decried as pussy ass faggot tear behavior. Only one place it hasn't been decried, and it's the temple of the king himself. What will we find, folks, on this week's episode of. Father Vouch. What's he got to say? Where's this one going? Well, stay tuned, folks. It's all business tonight. And by the end of it, by the end of tonight's mega giga night of content, all will have changed. All will have changed. Mark those words down in a notebook. Smear it in your own feces somewhere in your mom's basement. But remember that all will have changed, ladies and gentlemen. So... Shall we begin? I think so. There he goes, look. There's this guy called iDubs, and he's doing the whole, like, ironic mustache mullet that a bunch of YouTubers in their early 30s are doing. Uh, I can't say that I approve of this trend myself. Don't play, thank you. You know? I think it's, I think it's shameful. But, uh, I guess... That this man still has quite a sizable audience. On its baffles me. This is a man quite literally who's been exposed as a man that thinks uh, paedophilia is akin to just having a computer chip in your computer because it was made by child select. Remember the vegan gains cope? It's a man whose whole Discord DM history has been leaked about how he fantasizes about horse cocks and, and bestiality. It's a man who's many, many times wanted to bring down the age of consent. But what he's done is what Fagmanko failed to do. And that's garner an audience of unapologetic pedophile sympathizers. Because it's Father Vouch. And surely not. And when we look at Vouch and we look at what used to be the content cup, remember? It's a man who, uh, Back in the day, destroyed... I mean, let's remember. He cut a good promo on Keemstar as the content cop. Cost Keemstar a lot of business. Remember that chinless faggot Leafy? Well, there's your... There's the man that murdered him. With a content cop. This is a guy who used to go to video game conventions. Or vidcons or whatever the fuck. Sit in the front row and scream out gamer words. Based, you might say. What a king, you might be crying. But it's been a long, 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 long time since this antediluvian king sat upon his throne. As you can see here, he looks bedraggled. Okay. Even Vouch is saying, you know, looks guy good. looks rough. I can understand how some people... Killed his cat, by the way. Good. Executed uh, the healthy however, one. However, it is not my style. It's not his style. His Locked style is killing his little yeah, cat. Well, we'll see. Hi Dubs, what's up? What's happening? What's the like dislike on this? Yeah, I, f I figured it'd be about this. Right. So he skirts over the fact that. What's happening? What's the like dislike on? So there we go. I Dubs his own audience, by the way. It's pretty tough. What What's he said in this video? I uh, want the old I Dubs back. What's he said in this video to make this happen? Huh? We're going to get into this. Uh, we'll get into Vouch's take on this, which is incredibly nuanced. And, spoiler alert, let the degeneracy play on. Let the degeneracy play on. on this. Yeah, I, f I figured it'd be about this. Look, the only thing I know is that, like, a long time ago on YouTube, iDubs would say the N-word. And now, he doesn't want to say the N-word. 
And some people are really mad about that. That's all it's really about, like folks. Only thing that I know. I'm, That's I'm all it's that about. It's because Idubs used to say the N-word and now he doesn't. It's not about the wife, who we'll get into in a moment. It's not about, like, everything that's you know, of late. Uh, uh, the you remember that he's trying to set up his own Keemstar um, boxing matches, right? That's what he's trying to do, but you're not allowed to insult other people. You're not allowed to say the gamer words. You're not allowed to acknowledge content cop but prior to the year, what, 2021? 2020? Just supposed to believe that he existed as this entity since then. I dubs. But we'll continue. These, these like, uh, leech drama accounts on Twitter commenting on this video. SO Shaggy, big up! really offended by the concept of personal growth. I, I mean that sincerely. Like, they're, they're basically like, huh. You used to do this, but now you don't want to do it? Wow. And so you hear Vouch's take there. Vouch's take is that this is personal growth. That this is a substantial improvement over the old iDubs. The entertaining iDubs. The iDubs that used to be... Used to be alright, quite frankly. If a content cop used to drop on someone that you hate it, you could be damn sure that it would break their will and they'd just kill themselves. It was pretty based. Guy used to, uh, guy used to do it well. But it's personal growth. Personal growth by living as iDubs lives now. We'll look at all of his personal growth, by the way. All of his personal growth in intricate detail. But I want you to get into the head of this man and how he tries to spin it as a coat. Because what he's saying here and what he'll say throughout this it's brainwashing these faggots. It's brainwashing them. It's letting them think that this is normal. And the relationship that he's engaged in is normal. Because it's co-signed by him, who's also engaged in degenerate, depraved acts and situations. That's, that's it. That's like the entire argument. It's it literally like, you've changed? Well, like... I mean, yeah, the, the changing happens. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Let's watch the video. I dubs, hit it up. For a while, I felt like if I changed my content over time, that people would see that as a reflection. Now you can see he's I reading. You can see his eyes are reading value. a script that's been uh, pre-written for him. I, I'm starting to realize that that is a very weak and passive way to you know, run my channel and live my life. As you can so, hear by the tonger of his voice, he's lost you know, all will and all spine. This is what, in, uh, in, the old, um, in the old parlance of my country, England, um, this is behaviour that we were described as whipped. Whipped. Well and truly, whipped. fan meet up and say slurs at her and then make a video about how it's okay to say slurs. I, I think I should have the under the thumb to folks. make an apology video and take accountability for the mistakes I've made. So that's what this video is. So I that's what this video is. He's getting his broom out and he's gonna show you all how to sweep. And I don't think Vouch is fully convinced. But he's gonna spin it anyway. He's going to try and help him sweep it up. When we talk of a whipped man... Well, when we talk of a whipped... I mean, he's got an advert playing literally at that. I mean, the man was talking for several seconds. But when we talk of a whipped man... It's almost hard to conceive of such a thing. We've all had buddies... When they've partnered up... When they've met the right girl... Then suddenly, they change. They become something different. They're no longer the content cop. They're... They're different. They are... They're looking different. <laughs> they're sort of looking different. You see? Oh, you see? You see how he looks different to how he used to look? When he was in that cop uniform? So everything sort of changed for him? Just not, not looking himself there. Looking a bit... 
looking a bit dishevelled there, bro. I wonder why. Wonder why that might be the case. You've met the one. Woman of your dreams. And you know what? You've even gone and married her. I dubbed his wife, Anissa Jama, which seems like, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I've said it correctly, but it seems like the name of a demon. Supports and takes pride on his famous YouTube career. So he's found a woman that stands by him through thick and thin. Guy's a controversial guy saying gamer words in the front row. You know, based. Found a Behind every great man, folks, is a great woman too. Great woman too. Um. Okay. Okay. Kind of okay, I suppose. Hair's a bit short there. Looking a bit, looking a bit dikey there, you might say. But, you know, maybe it gets better on the scroll. Oh, it doesn't get better on the scroll. Oh, it's fucking horrendous. Oh, my Lord. He has cum stains all over his shirt from the big black bull that's railing her every night. As you can see, it ain't looking good, folks. It ain't looking good. Idubs' wife is a YouTuber and a boxing promoter at the Creator Clash event that Idubs has stolen from Keemstar. Idubs married Anissa in June 2021 and changed his last name to Jomha. Jomha! Bro. Bro. Take a tip from like anyone. You don't change your last name to your bird's name. That shows, I, I've never seen that in, in the, re I've never seen that ever, in fact. This is the first instance I've ever seen him. You don't change it to your bird's name, for real, for real. If you ever consider doing that, it probably ain't the best thing to do. You're probably under the thumb. You probably need to look at your back in the mirror because you, sir, are whipped. The American YouTuber, iDubbbz, is best known as the creator of the YouTube channels iDubbbz, iDubbbz TV2, and uh, iDubbbz Games. He is well known for his comedy videos, which include bad unboxing, Kickstarter crap, oh, and Content Cop, the last to be listed, when it literally is the thing he's most known for in the entire world. And the rest of what he's known for is being married to this parasite. Strange, isn't it? How the guy's legacy is slowly being diminished and leached away. Leached away. Leached away. My eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, I, uh... I've just met a real keeper. She's the one. You know what? I think, I think we'll get married and have kids. I think it's her till I die. Oh really, bro? That sounds great. I'm pleased for you. Can we meet her? Oh yeah, sure. She's just busy at the moment. She's doing a live stream. Oh right, she's making content like you do? Oh yeah, she makes content all right. She makes content all right. Where does she stream, bro? Where's she at? Oh, she's on OnlyFans. Every minute of waking day. OnlyFans? Two words never better applied, folks. Bizarro Snatch. Bizarro Snatch. Bizarro Snatch. In intricate detail. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, bro. You're gonna marry that? Wait a minute. I'm in love! I love you! I can save her! 
Work's cut out for you, iDubs. Work is cut out. Because as we've seen, there ain't no save in this bitch. She's got her claws right in. Right in, folks. He is under that thumb. No wiggle room under it. Every one of his whereabouts need to be accounted for at all times. Meanwhile, she's allowed to frolic freely and be a whore online. Anissa is also a video creator. I damn right. And OnlyFans model from Canada. Oh, Anissa is famous for her YouTube and Twitch content. Joma is known by the gaming community as Anissa Jamal. Additionally, she is also renowned for her podcast style streams, where she talks about a variety of subjects. Variety of subjects. Who's visiting the home in Len Pipe that night whilst I Dubs is making dinner? The various sex toys it likes to insert into its bizarro snatch? All the different sexual encounters it had before it hooked up with I Dubs. Dubs. Variety of subjects. In 2015, she was a whore and got her claws in. And you know what? I mean, I wouldn't, not with knowledge now, but back then, you might have forgiven little old Idubs. You might have thought, oh, Idubs has met some, she's all right, she might just be a bit autistic, but you know, it is what it is. We fast forward, and there we go. It's like mental, truly fucking nuts. Um, you know, the whole, the whole docs on this girl, the whole fucking docs. Now their married life, who wants to read about their married life, folks? Their married life is kind of fucked, but we'll save this as we power through. It's what it does to a man. Do you want to see what iDubs looked like before he fucking met this bitch? This is what iDubs looked like before he met this bitch. For real. Now, there's only two conclusions I can draw from that. Either she is fucking dirty. She fulfills his every whims. And, and nothing, is, nothing is a no. Nothing is a hold fire. Or he's under some succubus spell where he gets no crumb. And he's just like whipped. Totally fucking whipped. Um, this is what iDubs looked like before. That's what he looked like before. You know? Things seem to be going well. There were optimism and hope in his eyes, right? He was the content cop, cutting promos on Leafy and Keemstar. Um, whoa. What the... Uh... Wait a minute. Whipped content over time that people would see that as a reflection of who I am and what I value. Uh, but I, I'm starting to realize that that is a very weak and passive way to, you know, run my channel. Look at how weak and life. passive he is now. So He's reading I, I the script that she's I'm written for him while she stands off camera like an ISIS terrorist say slurs at her and then make a video about how it's okay to say slurs I, I think i should have the balls to make an apology video and take accountability for the mistakes i've made his balls so, are in her purse is. he ain't got I no balls anymore i need to be crystal clear he's tatted himself I up Honestly, I think a lot of like she's tatted up weak now if he was strongly confident about his new beliefs i feel like more people would respect it uh, maybe. I, I don't watch enough of his stuff to get, like, a feeling for the entire way in which he handles this. The problem, okay, as I understand it, iDubbbz's videos have always been pretty smart and pretty funny. And even though he would go so far as to make, like, uh, jokes that had the N-word in it, I never really got the impression that he was ideologically racist. You could argue, you know, him being that frivolous about Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In the woke cancel culture of 2023... Since when did we consider the nuance of whether someone was ideologically racist before we cancelled them for screaming the N-word in public? 
pretty sure this is what Vouch does on the daily. So what horse does he have in the game? Why is he so willing to throw aside his daily actions to defend this? It's because Vouch is also in something like this. He's entangled in another fucking... He, like, his bit, Vouch's bitch is fucking horrendous. Literally fucking vomit in the mouth horrendous. But she's also doing all of this stuff. It's open relationship polyamory time in the space year 2023. And I'll have no part of it. And no matter how much he copes and sweeps it up with his master and tries to brainwash these faggots into copying the same behaviour and normalising it, Vouch, I-dubs, it will never be normal. It will always be an aberration on society. I mean, look at what it's doing to the both of you. Look, I mean, you're killing cats. You, you've got no upkeep of the furniture that you're sat on every fucking minute of the day. You don't even wash your hair or even get it cut or even shave. You know what? I was brought up, if you couldn't grow something worthy, shave. It's your duty to shave. Don't do this. Oh, surrenders. Because you know what happens when you walk past someone like that in the street? They do a mini sick as well. They go, oh, that's disgusting. And they might even judge you and label you a child molester or something. Two people being racist, and I certainly think that it did. Uh, and that is racist in a consequentialist sense. But ideologically, a consequentialist I've never sense. Done any of this? As Holy like, fucking copes, Batman! To advance racism or anything. But he, but he's always been a funny and I think fairly introspective person. And I think the problem. I'm glad is words can become words like again. Make edgy and Vouch ain't going to be cancelling anyone for saying go. the words. You know, you can attract a lot of different audiences. Or shouting out the gamer words with a hard R. an audience. That is all edge. I'm glad he's going to be considering the nuance like of their racism. Because That's them, based. Edgy humor is but I doubt it, you'll fucking keep it up. To get to say the stuff that you couldn't say if it wasn't in the guise of humor. This code. Kind of people who like edgy jokes because otherwise they wouldn't. So Idubs gets the free pass. Idubs gets the hall pass. Because in Vouch's terms, he was too stupid to understand the humor he was making and being a subversive element in society. So Idubs gets the retard hall pass. But everyone else, you're all mastermind, 800 IQ, white dominating supremacists that are trying to, through humour, conquer the world and enslave black people. Whoa. The mental gymnastics at play here to justify I dubs his life. Because this guy, he says as well, he doesn't give two shits about who he is. If I dubs was on Cozy TV, yeah, no, no, no hall pass from Vouch. If he was the exact same person, but on Cozy, no horse pass from Vouch, no. But because I dubs is engaged in this weird open relationship, fake marriage, where they, f well, well, where she fucks other people and he stands in the corner and watches, then it all is all a okay. Send in Father Vow, she's about to help you sweep it up. You might even be able to hand him your broom on various rounds. And he'll sweep it faster than you can do. He's going to help you out consequentially, ideologically, societally, and give you the galactic cope that this deserves in order for it to fucking make it through. Idubs get sad and his fan base get mad. No. Idubs is sad. His fan base gets a reality check. It's the way it's going, Vash. Get to make jokes about race. They wouldn't get to talk about women, black people, Jews, trans people, whatever else. In their case, the humor is actually secondary. The joke, it's not about laughing. They're not actually trying to subvert expectations. They just want to express bigotry in a way that, you know, they can kind of like plausibly deny the intention. I don't think just like I dubs used to do. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like him for that. You know, you know, so as he's moved away from that stuff, I think a lot of people have seen his move as hypocritical. Yes. To be honest with you, I don't. Uh, he doesn't. This, um, Personal growth, he calls live it. Live streamer. Uh, um, he, uh, he copied my style. He, uh, Destiny. Uh, there's a story he used to tell. I'm sure he still does. I just I don't, I don't watch him anymore. Destiny, by uh, the way, he was a he was a moderator in Destiny Discord for ten years, grooming uh, underage kids. 
the and then decided to snake and do his own thing and steal Destiny's he audience. He used to use it really frivolously. But then when he was in Poland doing some StarCraft training, or whatever, he heard somebody use the F-slur, like, in an obviously homophobic way, in a way that had no comedy, no context, it was pure vit vitriol. And in that moment, he realized, I think, something that maybe... I think Destiny obvious, but I think genuinely caught someone using the hard F, folks. Immediately understand in some online hard F. That the F slur is, you know, a slur. It's not just, like, a hard-hitting word. For a lot of people, it carries a lot of weight. And a lot of people just like using it because of that weight. Because it, um... You know, allows them to express their disdain for. Pretty sure most people using and the hard F are doing it humorously. With the Spatio 2023 bash. You understand what I'm talking about here, right? I don't okay. actually. We'll assume that you do. Okay. It's like you've swapped places with someone talking actual sense. I mean, if you weren't known as Vouch or anything like, you know, your past seven years on the internet. Where you've been cancelling anyone and everyone for using any term out of context. This would be you talking sense, but because you're... It makes me wonder, why are you being so hypocritical like he's being so hypocritical? What binds you two together? What is the link? The great link, folks, is polyamorous women. And being cucks. Being married to slatternly women. Okay, move on. Take it away, I dubs. So there's it's no normalizing degeneracy. I am responsible for creating a lot of hurtful and damaging content. I'm going to get me some ice cream in a moment. And I've all I can immediately see why this is getting dislikes if he opens with this. I'll talk about it more in a bit. So created a culture of uh, apathy and I don't know, a lot of like cruelty as well. Oh, not the so apathy and cruelty. Look at how closely he reads these edgy. words. I don't think they, they, you know, notice how his edgy. pupils shift from left so to I right want people to you know get it confused about you know where i stand does I, he not want people to get confused about where he stands or does she not want people to get confused about where he stands i've made some cruel hurtful content and i need to oh yeah i can see why this is getting flack all right man we're only on minute one acknowledge that and i'm really sorry that it's taken me this long to acknowledge it the content I'm talking about specifically are content cop videos and videos. His whole legacy of great videos for very lackluster reasons. And, uh, you know, obviously didn't have any accountability online whatsoever on my end. I was morally grand. He's like one of those American journalists that's been found by ISIS. Unfortunately, he's not wearing an orange suit, but he might as well be. He might as well be on his knees with a machete to his throat because that's the level of coercion and duress that he is under. It is full of jump cuts, so I imagine he wasn't just able to read the script aloud and just do, I am sorry for doing this. I have changed. He wasn't just able to do that. It took multiple takes where she was demanding he do it again and do it convincingly. Say it once more with feeling, broken man. I am any better than any of these people that I was making content cop videos on, and I'm not. I'm a human. I'm a real. I'm a human being. Mistakes. And I'm not just pixels on a screen, guys. I'm a real human being. Pixels on a screen, real human being. How many fucking times do these people have to fuck up and wheel that one out? It is what it is, I guess. Pixels on a screen. Real human being. You know, I know. Wait, does he think he's not better than, like, Leafy? Ooh. Yeah, he's kind of beating himself up here a little bit, huh? A different set of mistakes than the people I was making videos on, but it doesn't matter. I don't think anyone deserves that level of cruelty or hate. It's also indoctrinated a lot of people into thinking that this is an okay... I mean, as you can see there, in that jump cut, he was like, he must have been matter. crying. I don't think anyone deserves that level of cruelty or hate. I mean, that tape must have finished him off because he's had to recover. Wipe away the tears. It's also indoctrinated a lot of people into thinking that this is an okay way to behave. 
and it's not. It's it's super irresponsible and shitty. I am very insecure about my ability to create interesting content or like entertain. So he's now very insecure about his ability. I dubs, you used to do great interesting content. You were an entertainer. You might even dare say an antediluvian king. And it was the content cops that you used to drop. It was pretty fucking great stuff. Nothing to be insecure about. But we now know why you're insecure. Because you've had a succubus chipping away at you. You've had this bitch and your life with her, your, your supposedly married life with her, chipping away at you, knocking your confidence, making you insecure. Saying that all of that stuff needs to be cancelled and you need to get rid of it. Idubs married this hoe in June 2021. The couple eloped and registered their marriage in Nevada. Bear in mind he took her last name. The pair announced their engagement in April. So it was a very quick engagement to marriage process. And you know what? I don't think that's even enough time for the lawyers to draft a prenup, do you folks? Do you think the lawyers had enough time in the two months it took for them to engage and get married to draft a prenup? I doubt it. They had started dating each other in October 2016, so she was playing the long game. I don't his girlfriend's name was uh, revealed to the fans for the first time in 2020. Talking about their relationship timeline, I dubs his real name, uh, the wife shared that she was alone in a hotel in San Diego scrolling through Twitter when she noticed iDubs was tweeting non-stop. In 2011, the couple's relationship began when they interacted for the first time online and have been close since. So what that tells me, she was a catfish. She was breadcrumbing this guy and playing a long game, getting her claws in so firmly that he's now willing to live like this without any challenge or contest. Folks, I mean, it would have to be a fucking long game, wouldn't it? You might say, oh, 10 beers deep. Oh, 10 beers deep and really fucking high. No, this would have to be a campaign waged over multiple decades for me to smash that. That bitch would have to crawl inside my head, rearrange the furniture, and truly fuck me up mentally for me to want to smash that. Let alone put a ring on it. Let alone take its last name. The YouTuber, I mean, look, look, look. <laughs> The release, item seems to be happy. She shared an image of her new ring on her fingers. But seems to be, their relationship made headlines over a year ago when fans called him a simp as he was okay with the fact that she posted adult content on OnlyFans. That's your wife, bro. You put a ring on it and are allowing it to do shit like this. The YouTuber revealed that he had many hateful comments from his fans as Anissa was not li Anissa was not liked by them due to her controversial actions in the past. You know what guys? Acknowledge. Sex work is real work. Sex work is real work. Fucking tough. Genuinely. And maybe, I don't think he's even as happy. I mean, Vouch is acceptant in what he is. Vouch has always been the same, always been like a degenerate pervert without any fucking funny, without any... I mean, Vouch was never going to be sat in the front row of any video game convention shouting out the Game Awards, was he? But this guy used to be something. He used to be a somebody. And you can tell that he's at conflict with who he used to be and who he is now. The behaviour he's engaged in now, and the dreams that he used to have. Because I'm sure, like you and I, he used to think when he was a boy about what his life would be and the bitch he'd marry. And where he'd be and how happy he'd be with her and 
How all will be okay? Ne I never in his wildest dreams did he consider he'd be taking her last name. And in he's, folks, he's holding the camera. He's holding the goddamn camera. At what point do we just say no? Enough is enough. He's holding the camera. What if you could do And helping her create this, <laughs> create this enriching content on OnlyFans. He stood in the corner, holding the camera as she's railed by the big black bull, just filling her with cock me, giving her the real fuck she deserves. Gentlemen, we used to conduct ourselves with a bit more etiquette than this. There used to be rules of the game. She is constantly bashed by online and by fans online, and many do not like her. An example of this is shown in the parody video below. And this video is called, I Dubs His Girlfriend Shouldn't Be Online. Shall we investigate, ladies and gentlemen? Shall we see what it truly means to be whipped? To be well and truly fucking under that thumb with no, no wiggle room. Whipped. I dubs his back is like the back of Jesus Christ himself. Marked. And that's why I dubs is broken. I dubs literally looks like he's seconds away from being nailed to a cross. With a crown of thorns above his head. Screaming up at the fucking thunderstorms and demanding that his father take him to heaven and let him sit in the kingdom, because this world is no longer for him. Shed the mortal coil. But we'll investigate. I dubbed his girlfriend, yeah, shouldn't it. be online. Okay. So. Right. And there's I dubs. Hmm. And now... There's I-dubs. There's his friend. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe all sims are absolved if she looked like a banging ten. Maybe you could perhaps understand why he's so... Why he's so whipped. If that strange he was slamming was in any way, shape, or form above a fucking nine or, a t or an eight, God, good Lord, you might be thinking, okay, understandable, somewhat. But, unfortunately, she has a, uh, has like a, a toucan tattoo, which says it all, really. A toucan tattoo. A little devil. A little devil? Because she's a little devil. He just looks broken. Oh, no. But we'll see why. I dubs his girlfriend you shouldn't be online. You bring on. I trust what? her, bro. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. As terrible as the Holocaust was, they found... She looked a lot... Look, she looked better here. She did look better here. But we're not talking... Uh, uh, we're not talking a great deal better, really. We're not talking, like, holy God... It's Kelly Brooks just walked into the room. Holy God, it's Baywatch tier. Pablo Anderson has just walked into the room. We're still talking, I mean. I think that's, that's about right. She was a solid six and now she's a two. I think that's the best way of phrasing it. But it's the sub goal look. A little, little cute dog looking up at the numbers. The sub goal. Top donator. We got, we got a little dog and the top donator's just given $25 and it's made the little dog cry. A couple of really groundbreaking discoveries. No, literally, it was because of her. When people go in and rip a, a content creator apart like that, no matter what like, like really happens, it gives me anxiety. It doesn't make sense science-wise, to say that you are eating the same as... I don't think ISIS exists. 
Marriage material, folks. Marriage material. Amazes me. I mean, I dubs, I dubs quite literally could have handpicked any bitch he wanted. They were all throwing themselves at him, like willing. There was genuinely a, a great ranch that he could have picked from. Guy had a, a great deal of choice from which to handpick his online wife. <laughs> And what he decided to do was go with this one. And I don't know why. Like I say, either she's very, very dirty in bed. Either nothing is off the table and anything goes. Or he's happy to live like this. Like, you begged her to come hang out with me. I didn't know her or you, but she called you a favour. I urge everyone to check out Colossal is Crazy's interview with Lion Maker. It's surreal. Yeah, I mean, and he went to jail, and he then he deserved to go to jail. Like, which is whatever. Too bad. They're bringing their significant other that you dislike greatly. Hannah Mojo. Yeah. Mojo. Uh, I also take ownership for the Tana. The, the ta Good God, folks. I mean... Idols could be smashing Cheryl Cole right now, but he's choosing to smash this and marry it. Take her last name and hold the camera as it sticks various weird objects into its bizarro snatch and upload it to OnlyFans. Good God. Tana thing was uh, was my oh, that was so long ago. Was my idea, and they sort of like sort of filled in the blanks and said like, "All right, you gotta hate women." The thing is though, I dubs. Are you even filling in her blank? For real, bro. Are you even filling in her blank? How much does she let you have at this point? Is it even a crumb? Is it half a crumb? Is it one tenth of a crumb? Is it anything at all, I dubs? Is she too tired after her work day? <laughs> her work day of being on OnlyFans to show any attention to you, Idos. Are you filling in the blanks, bro? Or are you just firing blanks into your hand? You might as well not be married. You gotta hate women like this or whatever. The truth is, is that I've been a giant piece of for the past, God, I don't even know how many months at this point. You listen to Idub's advice over the bond of friendship that you had with Celestia and eventually regretted that. No matter like how serious it is, right? Like even when Lion Maker or whatever his name was was accused of like it gave me a lot of anxiety. You gotta be more careful with who you bring on. You didn't think I existed before Ian. I did. How come nobody wants to talk to me on here? <laughs> uh, so I mean look at it. It's been going on for years and years and years. This bitch has got a past, a past so storied that it genuinely is like, what is he even doing? What is he even doing? I can understand why Saint Nick, Saint Nick Fuentes is holding off and trying to make the right move. He's rolling the dice and keeping the dice rolling in his hands until he finally throws them. Because God forbid anything like this fucking happens. And he ends up so whipped that he starts denying who he is. Starts feeling insecure about his passion. And just becomes a completely broken man. It's understandable why Fuentes is taking great uh, caution. Okay, so there may or may not have been some neglect on my YouTube channel for six months. I would make this person my world and then I would expect them in turn to make... You know, have... She was playing head games with iDubs the whole time, threatening to break up. He was in Europe filming with Dave and Felix. So be when he was away from her and not helping her fulfil her dreams of being a thought on OnlyFans, she was getting in his head, saying it would all be over. She'll kill herself or whatever the fuck. So he wasn't allowed to spend time with his friends on holiday in Europe. them make me 
their world. Well, the more you Photoshop, the more you run away from self-acceptance. My photos are not real. You're also causing other people to not understand that it's okay to accept themselves. My photos are not real. It's, it's a very detrimental thing to do. We all want to look our best. As terrible as the Holocaust was... I trust her, her, bro. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you're doing? Now, where have we seen those before, folks? I wonder where we've seen those before. But I think we got the picture. I think we got the picture, eh? They pattern themselves. They're as easily identifiable. You can spot them anywhere. And most men just go, nuh-uh, that ain't for me. You know what? That's someone else's problem. God forbid the poor bastard that hooks up with that. But thank God I'm out of that fire. But we all know someone, don't we? We all know someone. One of your bros out there who's just under that thumb and whipped. Well and truly whipped. And when, when you're in their presence and she's, she's brought along to this get together you're all at. And you just sit there and you stare at her and you go, holy fucking shit. Holy fucking God. There is no redeemable quality about you whatsoever. And he's still gone the whole nine yards and married it. And you just sort of wonder, oh fuck, that problem that was someone else's is now somehow mine. Because this guy is now gonna cancel on all your buddies get togethers. He's gonna cancel it. She's gonna be a big problem going forward for the next however long. This crazy lunatic bitch that you're not even fucking getting the... You're not even tapping either. And you get him on the Porsche at the barbecue. And you just sort of sat there reminiscing about school in good times and how everything used to be better back then. And you turn to him and you go, Are you really happy, bro? And he turns to you and says, I've not had a crumb in seven years. And he's got like genuine tears in his eyes. You don't know what to do. Because literally what's happening is this poor fox phone is blowing up. And you're wondering, could it be anyone else? No. It's her. It's literally her. Asking when he's going to be back. Asking what he's up to. Threatening to kill itself if he's not home in ten minutes. It's the bro struggle, folks. The bro struggle. And he wants to normalise this. He wants to make that behaviour seem so good. This is how men should look. Broken. Defeated. Yeah. How about a, a hard pass on that? Lights will guide you home. And ignite your bones. And you know what, bro? I will try to fix you. <laughs>